Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Geoscience Australia. A uh, special welcome to our visitors, but also to the many staff from around the building who have been brave enough to come out and join us to find out a bit more about um, what geology and earth sciences is really about. Um, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we're meeting today, and I'd like to pay our respects to elders past and present. Um, Indigenous people have a close relationship with our land and waters, which is the focus of our science and our um, activities in Geoscience Australia. So for today, I'm going to give a quick overview and then I'm going to hand over to our science presenters who are going to give you some of the fundamentals of geoscience and earth sciences. First of all, what's geology and why does it matter? Why are we so focused on it here? Well, first of all, geology is not all about rocks. It's about earth sciences and the processes which shape our earth. Some geologists do study rocks and minerals, volcanoes and earthquakes, but earth science is actually much broader than that. Geology also provides important insights into environmental science, into meteor with links into meteorology, climatology, hydrology, oceanography and a range of other sciences that are focused on understanding our planet and the opportunities for us to develop and also the constraints and risks to our investment decisions. So geology is really far reaching and it's really important. Now in Geoscience Australia we do a vast range of earth science activities and it's far too much to capture today but I just wanted to give a quick idea of the breadth of earth sciences and what we're doing in Geoscience Australia. That will be picked up in more detail in following seminars but um, we're focused on trying to understand the opportunities and constraints to Australia's development and Australia's future prosperity. So we have a range of areas that we focus our energies. As the Earth's population expands and it's projected to reach 10 million people by 2050, humans are increasingly going to need to discover more resources and to have a, a sustainable impact on our environment and our natural systems. We're going to need mineral resources for almost every aspect of our everyday life. Many of our mineral resources um, are non-renewable in the time frames of human um, perspective. So we really need to be very informed about how, where we can find them and how we can use them. Even clean water is going to become, become increasingly um, limited with a growing population. So we need to be clever about how we use that, where we extract it and what the impacts of our extraction are going to be. So with, within GA we have a very large focus on building Australia's resource wealth in understanding our minerals and our energy potential for the future. We also have a focus on ensuring Australia's community safety because as well as understanding our resource potential, we need to be prepared for natural haz hazards now and into the future. As human populations globally grow larger, we're going to be more and more exposed to natural hazards. So within Australia and within our region, it's very important to have an understanding of what those hazards look like and to, to plan around um, avoiding de detrimental impacts on human populations. In GA we tackle it through our community safety focus. Um, things are like where um, earthquakes and volcanoes are likely to recur and what are their risks. A growing society is also going to need clean water and that's another big focus of GA's activities. We have a large groundwater capability in the organisation and we're also involved in mapping and understanding our surface re resources. Understanding our earth and the processes that influence our water resources is very important to understanding how we can sustainably manage them. And finally, we need to understand the shape and the movement of our planet if we're going to embrace um, new technologies like positioning infrastructure, driverless cars, um, unmanned agricultural infrastructure. So our mapping and our positioning activities are really important in understanding where we are in space and in time. So these areas are going to be explored in forthcoming sessions. Today we're going to focus on some of the very fundamental parts of geology that help us to understand these natural resources issues. Um, our speakers are very open to questions, so don't be afraid to um, ask questions. No questions too silly in this space. In fact, the more questions, um, the more informed discussion we'll have. But I, encourage, I actually encourage people to engage with this because the point of this seminar is to try and reach out to people who aren't necessarily engaged in the doing of the science but who are in, very interested in what we do. 
So with no further ado, I will hand over to our first speaker, well, I'm sorry, um, to Tegan Smith, who's going to be speaking about um, geological timescales and how we understand them. So Tegan, thank you very much.